Hey guys, this is Brian. Um, just wanted to do a video on my sales for the month of March. I know there's one day left, but I thought, well, heck with it. We'll go ahead and uh, do it anyway. I probably won't sell anything between now and then anyway. So um, I'm going to start in reverse order on things I sold most recently and work my way back. Lots of Thomas the Train stuff this month, like usual, but some other things too. So let's start with the Palm Z22. Uh, got this at the Goodwill for $5. And ended up selling for 50. Uh, had the manual charger box, everything. So it was a good find. Okay, a uh, lot of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, there was tons of pages of these. I got it at the Goodwill outlet with the books. Probably paid about three dollars of it, or three dollars for it by weight, and sold for 30. This was the big score of the month, and probably the biggest score for quite a few months. This was the lot of office phones, Vodavi Star Plus. Got these at auction for ten dollars about a month ago, and they sold for four hundred and thirty-one dollars. So, mega score. Okay. Next up, I did not count these towards my total because I sold these for my nephew. This in the next lot, I got thirty-five for these, and I got one hundred and twenty-eight for these. They're all vintage Harry Potter Legos from the you know when the original books came out so some of these are really hard to find and ended up doing really well on those uh, okay tons of Thomas the Train stuff so I ended up selling I spent two hundred and seventy five dollars on the Thomas the Train stuff that uh, I purchased I still have probably about three or four hundred dollars worth to sell uh, but I, I made seven hundred and seventy dollars on it all together so you know that's a profit of five hundred dollars plus another four hundred dollars I haven't sold yet, and then there's some other stuff also. So that's nah, some random stuff you know mixed in with here. You know, Leapster game paid probably five bucks for that, sold for ten, no biggie. Um, some of these did really well, some of them not so well. Okay, like this a lot. This is twenty eight dollars for those. Or I sold a couple trains for you know in the twenties or thirties. Uh, here's a set I've had for a while that I've already made more than my money on, but this was kind of the last of a leftover lot. Made $50 on that set. And then, you know, random Geotrax, $10. Uh, okay. okay, yeah, here's one of them. This is, uh, this train sold for 30 bucks, So, that was awesome. Okay, so lots of Thomas, lots of Thomas. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Alright, this was a set right here. Uh, lady actually asked me if I had this set. I hadn't listed it yet. I honestly, I had ordered it off eBay and hadn't even opened it out of the box yet. She said she wanted it. I bought it for fifty. I turned around and flipped it for one hundred and fifty. Just looked in it real quick, make sure the pieces were there, and popped it back in there. So I honestly, I didn't even have to take it out of the box that I bought it in. So that was a good quick flip. Uh, some other things here. This is towards the beginning of the month. A Tonka uh, VW Beetle. Um, this is, you know, from the late 60s, early 70s. Sold that for 20 bucks and bought it for a buck. Uh, here's my favorite Yahtzee. Uh, sold this for 35 bucks and probably didn't even pay 25 cents for it. So, if you guys don't know, but already know about handheld Yahtzee, buy it. Uh, it'll sell for between 30 and 40 dollars. Uh, this game, Tobrick Military Tank Battles. This was an Avalon Hill game. It was unpunched. It was perfect. I had it in my store for a while. I discounted it. And I ended up selling for 30 bucks, and I bought it for a dollar a grosso. Another Leapster game, uh, you know, $13, I paid 5 so again, not a, not a great deal. They sell better in lots, so if you have lots of those, they, they, they do well. Uh, okay, this lot of CDs, it was a whole variety of CDs I bought at the Goodwill outlet. Uh, sold for $31, I probably paid 3 bucks. None of them had cases, but, you know, that's how it is. So anyway, all together on the stuff that sold this month, not counting the, you know, $150 of Legos, I spent $352 on the items that sold, and, you know, I still have out of that money some things to sell also, but I made $1,620 in profit, so that's about $1,300, and then, you know, take out fees and that kind of stuff, I, I probably made between $900 and $1,000 in net profit. So not a bad month. Um, other good thing is I was able to do a yard sale today, which I always like to do at the beginning of the season, uh, before anybody else really starts the yard sale, you know, craziness. Uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, it gives me room to keep the stuff I buy. Second reason, it gives me a good infusion of cash to be able to spend while I'm out picking. So I earned a couple hundred dollars today 
uh, which was good. I cleared out all of the big stuff I wasn't able to sell or, you know, didn't sell well on eBay. Uh, another thing I did was uh, something I'd never done before. I don't know if you guys ever see ads in your area on Craigslist that say, you know, we're willing to come clean out your garage or your garage sale leftovers. And so I was able to do that uh, today. And uh, at the end of my sales, getting ready to rain really bad. And so I called a lady on there, called her number. She said she'll come by and pick the stuff up. So she owned that thrift store, I think, you know, down a little ways away. So she paid 40 bucks for my leftovers, just miscellaneous random stuff, uh, none of my good stuff. So anyway, I made an extra 40 bucks at the end. So I, I made a few hundred dollars, which was good. And now I got money to reinvest to spend for this next weekend. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, one more thing. I almost forgot. I talked to you guys last time about the Star Wars autographed p picture, about whether it was authentic or not, whatever. You know, I looked up the signatures for those guys. None, absolutely none of them matched what I had. So, you know, honestly, the picture I got is, is worth nothing. So, you know, I paid $25 for it. Bad mistake. You know, I'm going to give it to my sister for her birthday. Uh, you know, something better than a gift card, I guess. But anyway, it's kind of disappointed it wasn't worth anything. Uh, none of the signatures were even close, to be honest with you. Um, so it was a little, you know, I don't know if the guy bought a fake or whether he's, you know, signing fakes or what he's doing. But, you know, I was a little disappointed. But whatever. I've, I've made, I wasn't, you know, counting on it to make a lot of money. So that's just how it goes. So anyway, uh, make sure you guys uh, leave a comment. I love uh, reading your comments, and make sure, uh, if you're watching my channel, make sure you uh, jump on over to some of the other Pickers' uh, channels, if you haven't already. Uh, American Picker Man, Marion Springs, uh, Vintage Fetcher, uh, all those guys that are they're doing it. So, anyway guys, have a, uh, have a good uh, month of April, and I'll be looking forward to seeing your videos soon. Later!